Hello Sagittarius people, it's here with a general reading for the sign of Sagittarius. This reading could resonate with anyone who has Sagittarius strongly in their chart. Sagittarius energy, Sagittarius energy, current energy for this group of Sagittarius people. For this group of Sagittarius people, current energy please. So we start off with the Princess of Wands, Page of Wands energy in the beginning energy. This is a current energy for this group of Sagittarius people. So um, if you're resonating with this energy and, the, and this group of energies that are here, um, this, this story could really fit for you. That said, um, we all know that the future is not set in stone. And so uh, it's important to realize that I'm just going into the energy, not into specifics. So please don't make any major decisions based on this reading. It is just meant to um, bring guidance forward and to help you um, kind of plan for the future in a, in, a, in a way. So um, we start out with the Page of Wands, with the Five of Swords, the Knight of Swords, and the Queen of Cups. So this is talking about um, gaining new um, gaining new strength, gaining new strength, and moving through some type of. Um, there there has been some type of hurdle here for you, Sagis, with the Five of Swords. Uh, with the with the page of wands this is a new beginning starting this is a new feeling of passion a new feeling of the light the flame within you beginning to burst forward this is a new feeling of youthfulness this is getting back on your feet again after falling um, this this is that feeling that if you know um, you're walking um, in front of maybe out in the public and you you're on a sidewalk and you're just walking and you're um, feeling good about yourself and you have something that you're doing and all of a sudden your foot hits a crack and you slam down on the ground and what you thought you were, you no longer were. And then um, you look around and you wonder who has seen you fall and who saw you do that. And you think maybe no one did and you get up and it takes you a couple moments and then you start getting that stride again and you start moving forward again and you start saying well that's okay everybody takes a fall everybody takes a tumble that was just my moment to take a tumble and i feel like that's the kind of energy that i see here um the recovery after some kind of a fumble or after some kind of a tumble um that you that you have experienced here with the page of swords and the five the, the page of wands and the five of swords so there has been some sort of a recovery or um there, there has been some sort of a recovery here, and what it's led to is, is a, an enlightenment of clarity for you, Sagittarius, where you have this Knight of Swords energy, um, where you have now something new to say or something new to um, formulate within your mind about which way you're going or what you're wanting to say. It's a restructuring of the mind or it's a restructuring of your thought system that's helping you carry you forward into a new beginning of some kind with the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords is an energy that's very strong. It can be very, um, it, it can be biting with the Knight of Swords. It can be edgy. Um, it doesn't have to be though. It can just be witty. It can be the truth. It can be something that really um, brings new clarity into a community or into your a workplace or into your home. But it's something that you have formulated thoughts around and it's something that you are beginning to communicate um, to the people around you and even communicate within yourself about what this new clarity is um, that came from whatever this fumble was that you were just recovering from. The Queen of Cups is here and this is a this is an energy with the Queen of Cups. It's a Pisces energy. Um, it doesn't have to be Pisces. It could be Scorpio. Um, it could be Cancer energy as well. It doesn't have to be any of those signs. But this is an energy of gaining inner strength, um, gaining inner inner um, capacity for health and wellness within yourself. Um, this is something about whatever you're saying is beginning to rebuild something within you because the Queen because the Queen of Cups always. Um, focuses on health and well-being um, of the inner self. And when she has found her footing, when she has found um, that sense of st stabil stabilization and um, love within herself, um, I, I want to say self-love, but then sometimes I wonder um, what self-love really is. What is self-love? And this is part of the awakening I've been going through, um, really, with my tarot journey. What is self-love? And for some of us, it is learning how to take care of ourselves better. For others of us, is understanding what our strengths are and really learning to love all the parts of ourselves, not just 
um, our eyes, but all of our face, not just one part of our body, but all of our body. Um, and, and it's, it's learning to really find a wholeness within, in oneself is, is how I'm feeling about this energy here for you, Sagittarius. So whatever this is, this is um, something that is bringing you a wholeness. It's bringing you a wellness. It's really, um, um, helping you to recover some sort of, um, the, the fact that the queen of cups is here is telling me there's a refocusing or there is a rebuilding um, of, of your love center, of what brings you vitality and love and what helps you nourish yourself and nourish the people around you. Um, so Sagittarius, that's the energy that I see. It was a little long-winded. Um, again, this is the first reading I'm doing in a long time, and um, I chose you uh, for some reason. So please be patient with me. All right, let's look at the next incoming wave of energy. The next incoming wave of energy for Sagittarius people. What's going to happen now? What's, what can we plan for in the future? What kind of hints and information are coming forward to us that will help that will help us move forward? Oh, no, the fool energy is always so fun to have the fool energy. Pool, the fool energy can be, can be somewhat difficult as well. And then you also have the death energy coming in here. So um, you're moving into a whole new horizon here, Saggy. And we have the Ten of Wands over the top of the Nine of Wands with the Nine of Cups with the Eight of Swords. Well, generally, these energies are very positive, beautiful energies. I think you have you found a way to let yourself free. You have let yourself free here. Something about the tumble that you were in or the squirmish you were in, um, whatever this was with the Five of Swords, that created um, a need for you to um, reestablish yourself in, in, in your community. And, and usually with the five of swords, I don't just mean in the community in general, but whatever group of people that are around you or whatever environment or situation that's in around you, you have to, the five of swords is almost like a reestablishment of, of oneself and one's thoughts. And usually when you reestablish yourself, you are, um, in some way, um, putting forth a correction. And when we put forth a correction within ourselves, um, it does have, um, ripple effects, uh, effects in the situation or the people around us. So whatever that was for you that you have gone through, um, it's really allowing you to move forward in a new way. Now we have the nine of wands with the 10 of wands on top, which tells me um, as we build, go into this energy that there is <sighs> with the 10 of wands on top of the fool. Um, there, there is an ending coming now to a certain way that, uh, of whatever this experience has been for you. The Ten of Wands is a feeling of just, uh, overburden and, and a real deep tiredness and a feeling like your, your world is out of control and, and, um, it, it's moving forward in such a heavy way and in such a big way that you really do not have the control to change it in some way. But I see with the full energy, with the nine of cups, you're really at the end of that period. You're really starting to see how you can change your life and what can be done to bring in a new, um, a new experience for yourself. And it doesn't have to be a new job and it doesn't have to be a new relationship. It can be just a feeling of newness within yourself. It can be doing something new. For example, um, for me, a lot of times I will, um, procrastinate on certain things like bookkeeping. I procrastinate on that. And sometimes we can uh, make a mistake. You know, we can wait too long. We can get a letter saying, um, you haven't done this or you haven't done that. And whatever that is, it can, it, it can help bring us, it, it sometimes fumbles and tumbles and, and um, tipping over can really help us restructure ourselves. And it can be truly a gift. Although at the time we look around and we see and we wonder if anybody else knows what mistake we have made or what fall we have done. And when we get up and we walk again, we realize that that was indeed a gift for us that can help us restructure something. So it doesn't have to be, the fool doesn't have to be a huge new beginning, but it can be a new way of looking at something or a new energy that's come around you that allows you to move forward in a new way. And um, I, I like the fool underneath the nine of cups, under underneath the 10 of wands. It tells me absolutely that there is something new that's going on for you a fresh new feeling it could be a new job because it's right next to the three of pentacles it could very very well be a new job but whatever this is it has already begun it has already started with the three of pentacles the three of pentacles is something that has already begun because remember the pentacles is about reality it's about health it's about money it's about assets it's about our home it's about our work it's it's the pentacles are what we can touch and feel and see and hear and all the senses that we have 
Um, and so with a three, that means that it's already that has something that has begun. So I'm not sure exactly what this is because this is a general reading. And, um, but it tells me that there has been a reset here for you. Um, there's a new, there's a new journey here for you in, in some way and whatever that fits for you. And it really is a wish come true. And even though you had to restructure and you had to correct and you had to do something that was difficult with the five of swords, because the five of swords is always a more difficult energy. It does bring you into a new beginning. And I see you moving forward in a really beautiful way, um, in the next few weeks as you, as you, um, step into the next, energy and it's really hard for me to pinpoint when exactly that will be because we are looking at general energy and we all know that we all move at different speeds um th this is telling me that you are definitely are in in some sort of a transformational energy with the death energy um there there are parts of yourself that are restructuring parts of your life that are restructuring part part of of the way you think about um, your journey that you're restructuring um, and whatever this thing is that you're trying to start, whatever this thing is that you're stepping into, that you have stepped into, we see you um, really coming out of a period of time of hopelessness or helplessness or wondering how you're going to do it or where the answers are going to come from. Um, I really see that you are overcoming um, whatever this was for you, you're overcoming the struggle of stepping into it. You're able to step into it now in a beautiful way. And you're beginning to see um, the beauty of it and the power of it and the blessings that it can, that it can bring to you. And it's honestly, this is a beautiful reading. And maybe that's why this reading is coming forward for me too. It is a gift for me as well, because this is an inspiring reading. And I, I'm not saying that it's not without pain and it's not without um, hurt because we have the nine and 10 of wands here, which talks about, um, a real tiredness, a real exhaustion, a real heavy load that you've been carrying. Um, but when it is followed with the fool and the night and the nine of cups, it tells me that there's a beautiful new beginning here for you. And, um, however that fits for you, the, the eight of swords does not even bother me. Um, it doesn't bother me because it is over the top of the death energy, which tells me that, um, you're, you're finding a way of stepping out of this cycling or this feeling that you may never get there or you may never be able to have it um, happen or you might have just been continually worried about it and you might have been so worried about it um, you might have been procrastinating about it you know for me procrastination is a big deal for me I have to struggle with it every day procrastinating on something um, and so sometimes my procrastination I have to dig into that why am I procrastinating why am I not doing my book work why am I not doing it is it because I'm scared to do it? Is it because I'm worried about how to do it? What is it that it is? So whatever this is, I think that um, it, there's a new freedom here as you move into the next few weeks. And I think that's really beautiful, Sagittarius. So let's look at what the guidance is for you as we move forward. What is the guidance here for you? Ah, oh, the world. Eight of Wands and the Emperor. With the, with the world, I've just been, um, the thought just runs through my mind um, of a fishbowl. And I feel like with the world, it's almost like you were in a certain aquarium. You were in a fishbowl. You were a beautiful fish and you were swimming around in a, in a certain aquarium. And um, all of a sudden you were placed in a bigger aquarium with other fish and with other things to see. So I, I feel like there is an opening now. There is a widening of the perspective. There's a widening of the horizon. There is a new beautiful fishbowl to swim around in um, that will have um, a few more pathways, a few more, a few more, um, interesting little, um, plants inside of it. I, I'm just getting a picture of a big aquarium and where you were once in a fishbowl. Now you were in an aquarium. And, um, I think that's an exciting feeling. It can also be a little bit scary to step into some, a new world or a new experience. Um, but again, the world is here, which is telling me that there's something that's fundamentally changed about, about your path or about the, the fishbowl that you were in. Um, something is fundamentally changed and what you knew to be true, um, at one point in time is now, um, it, it, it has been added to, it has been, it has been, um, there is a, a, a new layer that goes over the top of it that expands whatever it was that was before. It's an expansive, expansive world energy. Um, it's, it's not necessarily an energy of closing one door completely and opening into another door completely. It's not, that doesn't feel like the energy for me. It's almost like you're taking what you have 
You're taking everything that you have. And isn't that the case, isn't it? And I see, see, this is the awakening I'm having with tarot. I'm going through an awakening with this because before I would have said the door, you're walking out of one door and you're stepping into a new door. And now I realize that we don't really do that, do we? We take things with us when we step from one door into a new door. And we, the, the fish bowl that you were in, the water in that bowl came with you into the new bowl. Um, when we, when we take a fish and we move it from one fish bowl into another one, sometimes we take it and we, um, and we, take it out with a net and put it into the new fishbowl, but not this case. I think this is, there, there is energy that's coming with you and it's merging into a new, into a new reality for yourself, if that makes any sense. Then we have the eight of wands energy, which is a beaut. This is so beautiful. The eight of wands energy is my, is one of my favorite energies. It's just personally my favorite energy. It's an energy of fast movement. And Sagittarius, if there's anyone who can do the eight of wands, you guys can do the eight of wands really well. This is communication. This is fast movement. This is going back and forth. This is travel. So there could even be travel here with a world in the eight of wands. So whatever's happening, there, there is communication coming in. There are messages going back and forth. Um, there, there are activities taking place. It's positive. It's uplifting. Um, it's busy. I mean, I, I think you're going to be busy. I think you're going to have work to do. I, I think that there is work here with the eight of wands, but it's done in a very passionate way, um, with a heart center, with a fire that's in with, that's within you. That is the eight of wands energy. Um, I do think for many of you, this is, could, could be revolving around communication, learning how to communicate, expression of the voice, um, learning how to best send communications, how best to voice and to word your communication. I think a lot of this is about communication because I'm, I, I'm just focused on this delivery, this bird that is delivering the message and, and how it's arriving um, and how it's being received with a glove on the hand. It's being received with somebody who has a very gloved hand. So um, there could even be a part of these communications that could even be stinging a little bit because why does this person have to have a glove? Well, that's because there's talons on this. Is this a hawk? Is it an eagle? I'm not sure what kind of a bird this is, but there are talons that could go into the arms. So this person is wearing a glove. So um, you could be a little bit sensitive at this period of time. You know, you could be a little bit um, still raw. Maybe that's something's happening that you realize that sometimes we don't have to just do everything with a, with a bare arm. We can put gloves on if we need to have some protection, if we need to protect our heart, or if we need to um, do something to gentle the experience that so we can gentle the experience for ourselves. We don't always have to do it in the harshest, most um, confrontational way that we can gentle it um, because this person is definitely putting a glove on and is able then to receive the message um, with the talons that will wrap around the glove and will not pierce the skin. Um, and then we have the emperor energy. The emperor energy is a beautiful energy as well. Um, it is an energy of, well, there could be an emperor here, which is a, which is an Aries energy. Um, th this could be a, um, a, a masculine energy that is around you that could be of help to you that could help to um, guide you or help to create structure in your life this is somebody um, if this is a person this could be someone who is here um, in some capacity or another that will bring um, some sets of procedures or guidelines this could be an employer this could be a um, a a person in your community that has a certain technical ability or a certain expertise a certain niche that they know because a emperor is somebody who's quite specialized in his or her field. Um, but this is someone who's very much relies in, and knows the importance of structure, routine, um, scheduling, um, understands how to continually bring forth more abundance in his or her life. Um, this could also be the energy that you're in, understanding that in order to maintain control or to maintain a continued improvement, ma maintain the situation and keep it being keep it from self-destructing, keeping it from falling apart. Because sometimes when we get into a new, into a new experience, um, that's fast moving, it can be fear. We can have fear around it and we can, without realizing, realizing that we're doing it, we can create situations that we, um, in a sense, psychologically create a self-destruction in this. So I think in, in a way the emperor is going to be 
um, a, a energy that's going to help you maintain the success, maintain the new beginning. For many of you, that is what this emperor energy is. But again, this could also be a person here, a reminder that there could be a person here for you that can help you in some way, that can help guide you or help give you advice. Or it could be, doesn't have to be a man. It could be a woman. The emperor is a, is a masculine energy, but many times that even though we're a woman, we could be in a masculine energy. And many times men can be in feminine energies. Um, but this is an energy of, of, of discipline. It's an energy of routine, structure, having a schedule, having a list, um, really understanding that um, working as a team takes uh, procedures, it takes processes, it takes roles, that each and every one of us has a certain role that we play in our life or in the community. So um, I, I think that there is a reminder here as you move forward with this action and doing new things to remember to try to be as structured as possible because that's going to help you um, to find success. So uh, that's the message here for Sagittarius. Um, thank you for being with me. I, I know that I'm, I, I feel anyway that I sound different and maybe I do. And for all of you that are going through changes in your life, I'm going through a change and I thank you very much for um, giving me the opportunity to come before you and be a weakened, to be a weakened person. Let me see what I feel like doing for the extended. I'm going to go deeper into some of these energies here um, to see if we can get more information. I'm, I'm interested in what this dream is that's coming true. What is this dream that's coming true? What is this fool energy? What is this new beginning? It's so inspiring. I'm interested in what the emperor has to say. And I'm interested in this eight of wands. What is this eight of wands? What are, the, what are these messages? What are these activities? Let's see if we can get some more information about the eight of wands, the emperor energy, the fool energy, and the nine of cups. Well, sorry, I realize you can't see all the cards here. Um, let me see if I can get more out of that. And I think we'll take this, um, take these energies out into, um, out a few months of time or out maybe into four or five periods of, of time, the ways of energy and see if we can sort of be able to plan a little bit for what may come forward and, and knowing that these are general energies and these extended readings are still general readings. Um, but, but I think that there is some value in, in looking out into the future to see um, and to get some information about how to really plan for the future. Um, if we can get a sense of how it will kind of move forward. All right, Sagittarius, thank you very much. It's always a pleasure to read for you, my beautiful friends. I wish you all the best. It's so wonderful to be in your energy. Thank you.